Are you looking to add more Air Jordan 4s to your sneaker collection? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the 10 cheapest options right now in the market, and hopefully this will help you find something that you like. Starting with the first shoe, we have the Midnight Navy Air Jordan 4. These recently came out a few months ago, and they haven't been going for too much money over retail. Some people could say it's still expensive because it is close to that $300 mark, but I can tell you right now with the demand behind Air Jordan 4s alone, you're going to see a lot of these prices be right there around $300 to $350, bucks, depending on the shoe, and trust me, me. these are the affordable ones when it comes to the list because there's a lot of other pairs that are 400 500 600 even 800 dollars this shoe is going to be very similar to the white cement air jordan 4 but with a little bit of a twist with the navy hits so i think overall when it comes to color blocking and the overall scheme of the shoe you can't really go wrong with these you're going to be able to wear them with a lot of outfits and i could definitely see the value of these going up in the future maybe even be in a 450 dollars shoe sometime down the line so if you think this is a shoe that's good for you and you want to get something that's a little bit more affordable that's over retail this is probably going to be a good option next up we have a shoe that a lot of people are on the fence with and that is the canyon purple air jordan 4 some people call these the poor man travis scott's we've heard that in the past but at the end of the day i still think a lot of people that like this shoe they really do like this shoe and the other people that aren't really feeling it they just don't really go after it so because of that the price has kind of been sitting people thought that they would have been reselling for a little bit more and these are going to be right under 300 bucks now this is women's sizing so you're going to have to take that into account when you are looking to purchase this shoe, depending on what size you are. I'm a 13 in men, so that would be a 14 and a half in women's. And sometimes on certain models, when it comes to these releases and colorways, they actually don't even make those larger sizes in the women's sizes that men can fit in a size 13 in the men. So that's always something to think about as well when you're looking at certain sneakers. Pay attention to those little things because sometimes when you're my size, they don't even make the shoe for you at all. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Personally, I think the shoe is solid, but again, it wasn't really a cop for me just because of the green on the men midsole and the different hits on the outsole with the greens i feel like it would have been a lot better if it had more of a sale or a black colorway going along with the shoe instead of that green hit to allow the shoe to be a little bit more neutral and not really have something that's so contrasty like that but again to each his own if you like the shoe go after it personally it's a pass for me but i had to put these on the list because these are going to be one of the more affordable options when it comes to air jordan 4 oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the DNA show. Hey. Now let's take it to the next shoe, the Air Jordan 4 Amam and Year. We're seeing these shoes hit right over $300 right now, depending on the sneaker stores, if it may be a resale store or whatever it may be, if you can find these in your local market, you're gonna be able to get these shoes for right around that price. And I think honestly, that's a pretty solid deal. When it comes to the Amam and Year set, some people are saying this is the best pair of the four shoes you got the ama ones twos threes and fours i've done a video on those shoes in the past if you want to check that out i'll make sure i have a link for you guys down below but basically i compared all the ama sneakers and let everybody vote and let us know which ones they like the most and the ama fours fell in the top two you just got to watch the video to see what place they got whether it was first or second place hey i had to interrupt this video real quick because i'm excited to let you guys know we just relaunched the hobby to hustle program and the link is for you guys down below in the description and i made sure that it's cheaper than a pair of J's. I wanted you guys to be able to afford it and still be able to learn. There's over a hundred video examples, a bunch of different tutorials. We got everything from buying, selling online, locally, trading, bulk, you name it. It's all on the inside. I'm excited because I know that you guys are going to really take advantage of this. I've been doing this for over 15 years now and it's all jam-packed on the inside for you guys. And you get access to the community where you'll be able to talk to all of us and have live conversations with me whenever you have any questions or need some support. So I'll see you guys on the inside. Let's get back to the video. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 4 Infrared. These are similar to the green glows that we saw in the past. Just got that infrared hit to them. Some people were sleeping on them. Some people didn't like them. Some people loved them. Everybody was kind of all over the place when it came to this shoe. I feel like they definitely did fly a little bit under the radar compared to all the other 4s that have been coming out, knowing all the hype that's behind Jordan 4s in particular right now. But this shoe is going to be a little bit more affordable, just under 300 bucks. And some people, again, like I said, they may say that's too expensive. But at the end of the day, these are some of the cheapest Air Jordan 4s on the market that you can get right now. I think this is definitely a very clean shoe. And for somebody who's a beginner in the game just getting started this is going to be a nice pickup in addition to your collection and i definitely think similar situation when it comes to these as well when it comes to the value and holding on to the shoe and having them down the line and justifying why you spent the 300 or the 280 dollars on the shoe right now because later i could easily see these being that 350 400 type sneaker give it a couple years from now it's probably going to happen next up we got another sneaker right
right here hitting right under 300 bucks and that is the air jordan 4 zen master now this one right here it's literally you love it or you hate it i wasn't even on the fence i knew for a fact i didn't like the shoe completely fine and if you like the shoe completely fine at the end of the day always buy what you like it doesn't matter about what everybody else likes i can tell you i don't like it if you like it still go get it i wouldn't say not to get it just because i don't like it and vice versa i wouldn't say get it because i like you name it at the end of the day buy what you like this one in particular i'm not a fan of it definitely does have some unique hits to it the storyline behind the shoe i get that and everything but at the end of the day it just wasn't for me and i'm not sure how this one's gonna go in the long haul if these are gonna kind of hit around that same price point or if they will rise in value let me know what you guys think about them down below in the comment section and let me know what type of outfit you will wear with the zen masters is it gonna just be an all black outfit with that kind of crazy wild kind of tie-dye looking shoe or or something i don't know i think just probably for me because of the air jordan 4 in particular is so classic to the og kind of color blocking and style that's kind of what throws me off a little bit but at the end of the day if you think you can pull off a dope outfit and you really like the shoe go ahead and cop these i feel like they will be worth the dollar if you really like them because when i was looking at the details of everything it looks like they did a solid job on the shoe to say the least so i can't say it looks like they did a terrible job when it comes to the materials and the design elements of the sneaker so overall it's still a solid shoe just not for me another shoe we got right here hit for just under 300 bucks is the FIBA Air Jordan 4s. This one right here, I felt like it was kind of like a kid's shoe, the way they put it together with the net and how they eliminated that and added the different pieces with the elements on there. So for me, I kind of was turned off by it, but I definitely saw a lot of people that did like this shoe. And it's cool to see years later, because I think these came out in like 2019 or something like that, 2017, something like that. Either way, it's been a while and the shoe is still kind of sitting around that price, which kind of lets me know that people still like it because it's worth more than the retail value. But at the same time, it's not no five or 700 or $800 shoe and if you really want to get these I think you can make your mind up and you won't have to worry about the price going up later so I would say in a situation like this definitely take your time if you're on the fence or maybe even consider finding a used pair to get an even better deal because I'm sure this shoe is definitely out there on the market and you shouldn't have too hard of a time trying to find it for a good deal next up right here we have a shoe that a lot of people say is going to be worth more money in the future and that is the Red Thunder Air Jordan 4 these are hidden for just over 300 bucks right now and we all know that Thunder under fours are set to come out this year at least that's what they're talking about so i'm sure that's going to create even more demand behind that later down the line so if you say you think this is a good investment or a sneaker that's worth copying now and you want to pull the trigger you don't want to have to worry about the shoe being worth more later and then you like damn i could have bought it when it was 300 and now it's 450 this might be the right time to purchase the shoe and you might be able to find a good deal or be able to work somebody down and get them for 280 bucks or or 300 or 275 or something like that so always try to work deals as well when you're trying to get any of these shoes because you never know you might be able to save 25 bucks here 40 bucks there 50 bucks there next thing you know you saved enough money on four or five pairs of shoes to go buy a whole nother pair of shoes now this next shoe on the list is low-key a sleeper a lot of people don't really talk about it that often but i know everybody that has this shoe they love it they appreciate it I'm still not really a huge fan of purchasing it, but at the end of the day, I do like how they put the shoe together and what they did, and that is the winterized Air Jordan 4. I think this shoe is a tank any time of the year you can rock it when it comes to the weather and the elements and all those different things, and overall, it's a pretty solid shoe in a nice colorway, so at the end of the day, I think you can't go wrong with these. They're hitting for just over 300 bucks right now. They have been out for a little minute, but I think if you like this shoe, you're definitely going to appreciate it once you get in hand and see all the materials and everything. So this this shoe I had to put on the list because I feel like this is low-key a sleeper on the list. Now another shoe that I think is a huge sleeper that is still blowing my mind that these are going for this much which is honestly not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing because I always love seeing a good deal on a dope pair of shoes. The Lightning Air Jordan 4s. Like what bro? 275 bucks, 300 bucks, somewhere around there. To see those hitting for that much, knowing how much the other ones used to go for and all the different things, I got a feeling that the Lightnings, it's gonna take some time. It's been, what, a couple years now? But give it some more time. Let the Thunders come out. Next thing you know, I still believe that this is gonna be one of those $700 shoes down the line because everybody's been rocking them and beating their pairs up and doing all that stuff now. But if you got a nice crispy pair sitting on ice that you just been taking care of and you rock them every now and then and keeping them clean, trust me, bro, it's gonna be well worth it. I think this is an instant cop. I feel like they've been a great deal ever since day one. They've kind of went up a little bit, but 
I don't know. I'm, maybe it's just biased because I have the OG pair and I got the retros and I love rocking that shoe and I think it's a super clean shoe. Might be a biased opinion. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but that one in particular might be the best deal out of all the shoes on this list that we're talking about today. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. And last but not least, we have the number one selling Air Jordan 4 right now. Something that's just been creating so much hype. Something that everybody asks questions about. I'm sure you guys all know what it is. The Air Jordan 4 black military you can't go wrong with this shoe we all love this shoe to me i still think the blue militaries are better and i'm looking forward to the blue militaries with the nike air on them but at the end of the day again it's a black and white shoe you got the gray hits it's a very clean sneaker you can't go wrong with it you can match it with anything everybody anybody who if whether you've been in the game for a long time or you haven't been in the game for a long time either way you can pull up looking clean looking correct and it's definitely a nice pair of shoes so these are hitting for around 350 bucks right now and everybody's seeing the price slowly slowly continue to rise and i think this could be i'm not saying it's gonna be a black cat air jordan 4 because black cats is just still don't make no sense to me but this could be one of those shoes that people it's just so neutral it's so easy that it makes it just crazy demand people want to have it they know that you know they want multiple pairs once they mess them up they need a fresh pair on ice and that's kind of what causes the demand and the supply issues to be low because of it and the next thing you know the price rises and then the next thing you know you got a $500 pair of shoes so I'm definitely interested to see what happens with that shoe in the future and honestly all these shoes on the list if you guys got any questions let me know down below in the comment section if you want to see other videos like this with different models or something let me know down below as well I'll see you guys in another one I'm out Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and say Hakuna Matata. <laughs> it means no worries.